Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is going to do One Piece Chapter 673 review. Before I get started, I do want to say that the ending of this chapter was very shocking. I was like, what the hell? You? Of all people, Joker is you? Oh, shit, you know, so uh, the ending gets a round of applause, all right? Yeah, it, it really does. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, uh, happy 4th of July. That being said, let's dive right in. Let's, yeah, I want to dive right in. So, this chapter starts off, and we're on a random island in the New World. And this island has the parents of the children who are now drug addicts. And they're looking for their children, and they're asking this Marine, like, is there any word that our children are okay? Are they, all, like, are they fine? Are you guys, are you guys searching for them? And this Marine, apparently... He is the... He's a member of G5. Marine Base G5. He is the Squad 6 leader, uh, Commodore Yarasugi. Now, this is shocking. Well, not, not shocking, but this is interesting overall. Because apparently, the Marine bases have squads. And Smoker, apparently, is the leader of Squad 1. This is the leader of Squad 6, Yarasugi. And Yarasugi, his character design is like... Uh, uh, it's it's very strange. It's very strange. He's wearing a fo he, he's wearing a fur jacket with a tuxedo bow tie, armor, armor boots, and a fucking singlet. That's so random. So the singlet is the most random portion of his outline. I mean, of his character design. It really is. Just a singlet. Like what the like seriously, a singlet. Very strange. So, yeah. I'll leave it alone. But basically, he's saying that, and apparently, the leader of the Marine Base G5 is Virgo. And he's a Vice Admiral. And apparently, Virgo had informed Yarasugi that the children had died via shipwreck. Even though the parents know for a fact that their children were playing in the streets. So... They know for a fact that something wrong is going on here. So, they have hope. They still have hope that their children are still alive. Um, now what I will say is that, I noticed that even though, uh, Yarasugi, well no, um, even though Smoker is a Vice Admiral, he is still underneath Virgo. I think he would still be considered underneath Virgo. Because Virgo is the actual leader of the Marine base itself, while Smoker is only the leader of squad one. So I'm thinking that even though you have the same rank, there's still going to be a pecking order. That's what I'm thinking. So, but yeah, that's number one. Number two is that we get back to Punk Hazard and the children that are being watched by Usopp and Nami inside Saji's body are now going out of control, right? Their symptoms of withdrawal are now starting to overpower the sleeping gas that Usopp has set for the children. And these kids are crack hungry. They are crack hungry. They want their crack cocaine. Ha <laughs> ha They really, yo, honest to God, right? If you're like, if you're seven years old and you're watching this video, don't take drugs. <laughs> don't take drugs. Because if this shit happens to you, there's no going back. There is no going back, all right? If you are a parent of a child, Never, never let your children touch drugs. And this is common sense. But if you're curious about what's going to happen if your children take drugs, well, here it is, right here. One piece, all right? Your drugs are going to turn your... The, those drugs are going to turn your kids into monsters. Little demons. In this case, little big demons. So, yeah, these kids are on... Yeah, they're on something bad. And what happens here is that the kids are now starting to run at or starting to... They're kind of like zombified. They're like, uh, candy, candy, and so they want their candy, obviously. And Usopp is like, okay, well, we're kind of screwed. And then here comes Caesar Clown with a giant bag of candy, and they're like, hey kids, here's the candy. They're like, master, and then Nami and Usopp are like, oh shit, master. He runs this joint. So clearly, I mean, don't be surprised if. Usopp and Nami inside Sandy's body wind up being thrown into the same cage that Luffy, Law, and so on and so forth are in. So that's number one. I mean, number two. Number three 
is we re we return to Zoro, Kinemon, Brook, and Sanji Sainami's body, and they are they are running away from the slime, and apparently the slime is pissed off, and all of a sudden the slime starts taking a shape, and it turns into some weird amphibian. I forgot what it's called. I'm not too sure what it's called. Um, uh, I think it's I know it begins an A. I'm not too sure. But I know it's an amphibian. But the thing is that this creature is called Smiley. And Smiley ate, well, uh, I think it was that, yeah, this amphibian, I believe, ate the Shara Shara no Mi model gelatinous gas. I think so, yeah. I think so. So, and it's a really, really big poison amphibian. And apparently the poison amphibian travels via dispersion. Meaning that the poison amphibian would, would it spits out poison. This poison takes out th this poison is a life form, or it's a part of the actual like amphibian. And what happens is that basically the way it works is that once this amphibian spits out poison, the poison starts to clump together once again and recreate the amphibian. That's how it moves. I believe so. That's why the poison always like that's why these poisonous blobs always start to converge on one another because that's its means of uh, locomotion dispersion I believe so and basically Zoro, Kinemon, they're like you know what we don't want to fight it so let's go to the lab and run away alright so they're gonna go to the lab and run away and this leads to point number four which is that um is it four? yeah four which, which is that the marines that uh the marines that are underneath Smoker and Tashigi they're trying to break in to Caesar Clown's lab because the because the poison slime is all around them. So this means that Zoro, Kinemon, Brook, and Sanji Sanami's body are going to run into the Marines. The Marines are are going to get their asses saved by Zoro. You know, Zoro. You know, he told you, you know, cut the doors and that's it. You know. Now point number five is going to be the reveal of Joker. Now what happens here is that there is a now we when now we shift scenes. To Virgo, Monette, Luffy, Law, Robin, Frankie, uh, Tashigi, and Smoker. Now those, now those six, Tashigi, Smoker, Law, Luffy, Robin, Frankie, they are in a cage right next to Virgo, Monette. And, the, and then, by the way, if you're wondering, that piece of me on his face, no homo, that was hamburger. So yeah, that was hamburger. Apparently, Virgo really, really likes hamburgers. Apparently, so I'm just saying, kind of weird. But, uh, what happened here was that Smoker is talking about how he, oh, he made the deduction that Virgo was the one who had changed the records from a kidnapping case to a shipwrecking on that random island in the New World. Virgo was the one who changed the records. And he realized that Virgo was working for law, I mean, wor working for, uh, Joker for a very long time. And he's kind of ashamed in himself for not realizing earlier. Now, Law says, well, don't be surprised, because apparently Virgo, since his joining of the Marines, had been working for Joker for a very long time. I believe it was 15 years. And this shows you how far Virgo is willing to go for Joker. And then jo and then Virgo says that he's going to wind up killing Law and uh, Tashi, and then he's going to hide it uh, underneath an accident. So what happens here is that Luffy, he's like, yo, Traffy, who is... Uh, who is Joker? And then Law reveals Law reveals that Joker is Don Quixote, Don Flamingo. Joker, who has Marines at his disposal, is Don Quixote, Don Flamingo. This motherfucker. Yeah, straight up. Because this man is, he, he's too much. He has so many assets at his disposal. For what purpose? What is Don Quixote's agenda? What is his agenda? I, I'm not too sure. The era of smiles. I mean, I don't know. But that being said, it, it was a crazy reveal as to who Joker was. Just showing you how influential Don Quixote really is. And you know for a fact that he's going to play a lot of roles in future chapters. Now, 
That's the end of chapter right there. Now, I have a theory on why Trafalgar Law, now that we know, now that we know that, that, uh, that Don Quixote is in fact Joker, and we know that Law used to work for Don Quixote, then I have a theory on why we don't see Trafalgar Law's crew anymore. Now, what if after Law had saved Luffy from the Marine Ford War, what if, because I do know that a lot of people knew about this, so what if Don Quixote found out, and then he got kind of PO'd? So what happened was that he decided to, using his ability, he captured Law's crew, and then he told Law to, in order to make amends for you saving Monkey D. Luffy, then you need to go kill a Yoko. Maybe. And then once Law kills the Yoko, Don Quixote will return Beppo and the others at his side. Maybe, who knows? I'm just saying, because you have to you have to realize that Law's crew is not there with him. And every time we saw Law, his crew is always there with him, regardless. So there has to be a reason why Beppo and the others are not there. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Don Quixote, using his ability, captured Beppo and the rest of them, and he told Law, in order to set in order to set uh, your crew free, and for your crew to return to you, you must kill a Yoko in order to appease me. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Otherwise, I mean, and the reason why he's there in Punk Hazard and watching Caesar Clown, maybe to get information, because I'm thinking that Caesar Clown is also not a huge fan of Joker, of Don Quixote. So maybe, maybe he was trying to get information on Joker, but it, it backfired. So maybe, who knows, all right? But it's kind of like iffy, because we're not too sure as to where Law, Caesar, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, blah, 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 Quixote stand, all right? We're not too sure where they stand. So we'll find out later on as the chapters continue. But that being said, a very good chapter of One Piece. Yet again, a very good chapter of One Piece. So I'll see you guys later. This is the King of Lightning. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice day.